Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about traction alopecia. In case you're wondering, traction alopecia is baldness that is caused by hair being pulled too tight, too snug, things like that. And I have to deal with this one first in my alopecia series because it's probably one of the most common forms of alopecia you see, especially if you are in the black community, as well as like if you're a gymnast, a dancer, things like that. And there are reasons why, which we'll deep dive into in this video. By the way... It's, this isn't because of alopecia, it's just because she happens to be back there. If you'd like to see the video on how I changed that wig from busted hot mess to the gorgeous wig that it is now, make sure you click the link in the description box down below. Traction alopecia basically is hair loss. It's due to excessive pulling over time, things like that. And you see it incredibly prevalently in the black community because we wear braids quite a bit and we wear weaves and things like that that are pulling on the hair a lot and to be quite honest with you I have a large number of clients who have decided to not return to me for services because they said I was too light-handed they wanted to feel someone in their head um, it's kind of how we're raised that your hair is supposed to be pulled tight some people even feel like it makes their hair grow faster which is not true that's a whole separate video keep in mind if a style is causing you discomfort to your scalp there's a good chance that something that should not be in your hair it can cause permanent hair loss and loss of your edges now basically the key areas that you would see traction alopecia is going to be the hairline um, you can see it in other places especially if you have a say like a part line in the middle and you're pulling some of this hair forward the other hair back you can have uh, thinning and baldness right in the middle of that part line um, in that instance you can see that as well but the most common places that you're going to see it is pull this hair back would typically be the very front portion of the hairline uh, traction alopecia is almost always characterized by you have a slightly more dense hairline here but then just behind that it will be very very thin so it's not where that hairline is sliding back in general uh, usually it's where the baby hair uh, even though let's be real that hair has bills, that's adult hair boo. Um, but nonetheless, anyway, so this hair here will typically stay while the hair just behind will be disappearing and you see it incredibly prevalently right here above the ears, right along this front hairline and the people who are wearing low ponytails and stuff, you see it quite a bit in the corners of the nape. Now typically what's going on there is where the hair is pushed push him back in there. Uh, typically what's going on there is where that hair has been pulled excessively tight and what happens is whenever a strand of hair is pulled out of the follicle you can actually pull out the blood supply and when you pull out the blood supply to the hair there's nothing to supply that follicle with nutrients for a new hair to grow so if you've ever seen a strand of hair pulled out and on the very end of it there's this little floppy black piece you just pulled out your blood supply. If you notice that you are putting braids, things like that in, and the scalp looks almost puckered up from those braids being tight, those braids are too tight, take them out. If you're doing something like box braids, individual braids, single braids, something like that, wait at least a good week before uh, to where those braids have a good range of motion on their own before you go trying to pull in ponytails. I constantly see people getting box braids and micro braids and putting it up in ponytails straight away and it just leads to traction alopecia. Not to mention if you're putting a lot of, of heavy extensions on a very small amount of hair in general, you can see alopecia due to that as well. If you notice that you are having some thinning around a braid, something like that, or that braid is starting to twist and it's holding on by a strand, Please don't keep that braid in there. Unbraid it and just, if you have to gel that hair down, I don't care what you have to do. I would rather that hair break off than to come out because breaking off, we can fix, we can moisturize, we can do protein, we can do things like that. Once you've caused alopecia, that is most of the time permanent when you're dealing with traction alopecia. It's due to that hair being pulled too tight. So please take special care here, you guys. Uh, I do not attempt to make this a joking matter at all because it's something that plagues a lot of women and a lot of men. And it's something that I feel like breeds a ton of confidence issues. If you have further questions about traction alopecia, let me know in the comment box down below. And of course, next I'll be covering postpartum alopecia because that is one of the other more common ones that I see. Until next time, you guys, take care, God bless, and stay clear. And you know I love you, boo. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.